It seems like when it comes to these updates, specifically Mac OS Pixel 11.3 betas, from the first beta up to the fourth beta that has just been released today, Apple has sort of been able to consistently maintain a two week release cycle gap. So as you can tell from the title of this video, Mac OS Pixel 11.3, beta 4 is out and also on top of that the public beta version is out so irregardless of the profile you have this is an update that you can update to and not only that but it's been a busy day for apple i mean mondays it's something that's unusual usually tuesdays or thursdays tend to be the days but if we head over to the apple developer website you can see some of the other updates that apple released so obviously mac os pixel 11.3 beta 4 and they also released iOS 14.5 beta 4. I've already done a video on that. And they also released iPadOS 14.5 beta 4 and WatchOS 7.4 beta 4 and TVOS 14.4 beta 4. All these updates that you are seeing here, they are available to developer beta testers and to public beta testers. That's the way to go. That's the way to go. I, li I like it when public beta testers don't have to wait for like two days in order to catch up to developer beta testers, which is a good thing. So on my 2016 15 inch MacBook Pro, it actually came in as a, an average size file. It came in at around 2.83 gigs, which is average. And I was updating obviously from 11.3 beta 3. And if you have a different Mac or device and you're coming from a different uh, Mac OS versions, for example, 11.2, then expect your update size to be slightly larger than this. It could be around four or five gigs. And then also we want to check the system storage being taken up by this update. So it just takes a moment to load as you can see there. On beta four system is actually taken up 16.39 and surprisingly that's exactly the same as how much it was taken up on beta three, which is a good thing, no change in that aspect. I have to mention that there was an issue that I was experiencing on beta three and it seems to be more prevalent also here on beta four, whereby my document section would display zero KBs and the other storage would actually display over one terabyte of usage. This I would like to think is a bug because I know that my documents has most of my files. So it's something that I'll be able to dig out and hopefully if I use clean my Mac X, I'll be able to see and dig deeper into this other story. It's something to keep an eye on if you're going to be updating to these 11.3 betas. Now, let's talk about the new features and changes and also fixes that came with this Mac OS Pixel 11.3 beta 4. The first one that we'd like to look at, if we look at the Apple release notes, it's interesting because they only mentioned the support for the developer transition kit, which is no longer supported as of 11.3 beta 3. So with this 11.3 beta 4, there is no exception to that. Now the next thing that has also been fixed with this update has to do with airdrop. So on beta 3, there were issues whereby airdrop files wouldn't deliver. And sometimes if you send like a short video or even a raw image, sometimes it will only deliver halfway and airdrop wouldn't be able to do the whole transaction. But with this update, it's actually working as it's supposed to. And also another fix has to do with in the Apple Music app where albums and also playlists that were showing up blank before on beta 3, this time around they're showing up. If you use the Apple Music app, this is something that you can check out extensively, but I use Spotify. So this is not something that I'll be able to show you extensively, but the Apple Music app is more stable and has been updated slightly. And also the Apple Podcast app received similar changes. Another fix also pertains to the HomePod stereo pair. So if you're having issues on beta 3 when it comes to HomePod stereo pair connections, rest assured that on this beta 4, it's now seamless and the connection is quite quick. Now, when it comes to the issues or bugs that are still here with this update, let's talk about those because they seem to be quite a lot and more than what actually changed or got fixed with this update. The first issue has to do with the AMD 6000 series GPU, which were surprisingly not mentioned, irregardless of how extensive or how many people reported issues pertaining to the AMD 6000 series. Apple did not mention anything here in the release note, which is sort of surprising at this time. 
and then also another issue that's still here has to do with external monitor display resolution which will sometimes fluctuate or reduce resolution on its own still something that has been affecting mac os pixel 11.3 for some time now hopefully when it comes out this will be resolved another issue that also is here with this 11.3 beta 4 has to do with apps using large amounts of energy so if you go to your activity monitor walls you open safari or you open in chrome you'll be able to see how much of a spike in memory those apps are using and even regular native apple apps like nodes or podcast and so on are using extensive memory so it could be an internal programming bug that needs to be addressed and also a number of people are reporting various canal panics where marks will just restart out of nowhere or basically applications or tasks just crash randomly for me i've been having an issue on beta 3 whereby my mark will actually be like you know almost halfway like 50 percent or 45 percent and just powers off i would have to basically try to connect it back in order for it to operate normally so these are some of the issues that are there keep in mind before you update that this is a beta a beta is meant for testing now let's talk about performance wise in terms of geekbench scores the scores that i got so i ran geekbench 5 just to see how good this macOS Pixel 11.3 beta 4 compares to beta 3 and when it comes to beta 4 on single core I got a score of 743 and previously on beta 3 I had a score of 749 when it comes to multi-core on beta 4 I had a score of 3030 and on beta 3 I had a score of 3041. So as you can see when it comes to both single core and multi-core beta 4 falls behind of beta 3 but not by much this is not something that you'll be able to notice but if you extensively look for it you might start to see it in various tasks. When it comes to uh, GPU performance, I also did the same thing. I ran Geekbench 5 just to see how good it's performing compared to Beta 3. And when it comes to macOS Pixel 11.3 Beta 4, for GPU, I had a score of 17,199. And previously on Beta 3, I had a score of 17,287. So it's kind of unfortunate to see that on average when it comes to both single core multi core gpu this beta 4 falls a little bit you know below the scale comparing it to beta 3 and basically that's how the geekbench score has been for me and when it comes to applications i literally had to update a ton of them and also geekbench 5 that i used to measure these uh, geekbench performance scores was updated and i believe there was an issue when it comes to cpu metal measurements for apple silicon m1 marks that has been addressed so i just felt like you know although i use an intel mark why not update so i did the update and did my geekbench scores and when it comes to battery since i just updated i've been using it for like three or four hours now so i'll be able to do maybe a follow-up video just to show you how good the battery is and if there are any more issues or new features and changes or bug fixes that i will be able to find in the os or on the internet since you know it's the best teacher now whether you should update or not to this mark west pixel 11.3 beta 4 i would say definitely this is a go for if you are already on the 11.3 beta so be it beta 1 beta 2 or beta 3 beta 4 the build number is more secure we took a long jump and it just goes to show how close we are from the official or final release otherwise if you aren't already on 11.3 beta then i would say at this time you know there's nothing to rush for there's still a number of bugs and issues affecting people on 11.3 beta so just hold on a little bit and not too far off this version might actually come out officially to the public and speaking of when this version could be released we are looking forward to perhaps next week monday if the rumored supposed epo event takes place like on the 23rd as most rumors are saying keep in mind that it's still rumors nothing yet confirmed from apple if it's something that's confirmed then you know maybe this week we'll see invites for next week's events but other than that this is how it's been for me next week if there is an event i could be covering it or just reviewing or reacting to it so other than that that's about it for me when it comes to macos pixel 11.3 beta 4 if you like this video 
please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and stay safe and I'll be doing a follow-up video very soon when it comes to this update. Peace.